just mad. We got one. Hello? Jace. <clears throat> Franklin, Nina, look out. Chris, Na Nina's watching, doll. Yeah. Frankie, my man, King of Trainers, Chris Newley. Uh, Miss Shelley. What's that? Epa. Epa. From Deb. Epa from there. Big shout out to my man, King of Trainers. Big shout out for King, everyone. You know what I'm saying? I've got my daughter. I've got my daughter to chill out too. She's playing Minecraft. You know, it's on. What's happening, Chris? I'm sorry to everyone. What's that? Uh, have you tried any React kicks? No, Dense, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. Uh, they look mad. I like them. I like the Nike Air React. They look sick. Uh, there's this new Nike that come out. Kyle, what's happening, a player? There's a new Nike that came out. My man, uh, as what is it? Skeleton horse. Oh, that's killer. There's a new one that came out. Juice Puma's on today for everyone. Sorry for everyone. I, I was looking at the chart, the time charts. Um, yeah, they look comfy. I remember Carney had a had a pair. My mate showed me a pair of these new Nikes that came out. I don't know what they are. I think they're like an Air Max, but then the bottom, I swear, they look like a version of the uh, of the McFly's. You know what I mean? But low cut, sort of. It's it's crazy. Hey, Retro Forum, what's happening? What's happening? The B Double A and uh, Hop Dog, eighteen. We got Juice Puma in the house. To all my Melbourne viewers, Australian viewers, sorry, I still had the time chart difference. Hey, Choi, what's happening? Dots, old school, old school in the house. And um, I was still looking at the time chart from when it was daylight savings. So <laughs> it was supposed to be 10 now, but it's not. It's 9 o'clock, but it doesn't matter, man. It's all good. We'll keep on We'll keep on going. I'll let a few does rot. What's happening? Lizzie Oon, big shout out to Lizzie Oon. That's a big, big announcement too I'll make. Uh, the next show is scheduled on the 16th of May, but on the 15th of May, my daughter's birthday is. So I don't want to be doing a show, I don't think, that weekend. So the week, two weeks after that, which is on the 29th and I think the 30th of Melbourne, I will have Lizzie Oon from Sergio Takimi, the first female to be on my show uh, from a brand that I love so much. And uh, hey, Carly Vegas, I was about to mention your name right now, brother. And uh, she worked with Carly Vegas on bringing out the new lung, uh, young, lung, lung, young line shoe. And she will be um, on the show and, and uh, talking about the shoe and ha ha what it takes to make a retro. You know what I mean? And not only that, we'll, talk, we'll ask about the clothes and stuff like that. Ask about who, you know, how she got the job and stuff like that. But today, Juice Puma, if you're ready to come on. I've got my man from Brooklyn. I actually live in Brooklyn. He freaked out as well. There's a Brooklyn in uh, Melbourne. And to be funny as well, in Brisbane, there's a Compton. And that's just by chance. Do you know what I mean? There's, there's a, I've been there when I went to uh, perform. My mate lived near... Um, yeah, she's a very good person. And um, are you back, back to class? All right, no worries, Kelly. You'll catch this one on, uh, on, on YouTube, my brother. All right, man. So Juice Puma, if you're ready to come on. Come on. I'll just keep on talking. Until he come on, what's good? Which way talk for him? I missed the other one. I missed the last one. You should do another one on cross trainers, man. Apparently, some cross I've seen a mad picture of Jim Carrey wearing cross trainers for an ad on Instagram. Someone put it up. I can't remember who it was. Jim Carrey with, with, with obviously, his daughter. I don't know how many kids he's got, but it looks like it's his daughter. If it's not, it must be just a model for the, for the program. Here we go. Juice Puma's in the house. What's going on, bro? Hey, how are you, my brother? How you going? How's it going, man? Can you hear me all good? Yeah, you hear me good? Yeah, I can hear you good. I Perfect. Hear you What's good. going on, bro? Hey, uh, right. thank you for coming on the show. Uh, for for, everyone for that's, me. That's, 
that's watching that doesn't know who you are, if you want to introduce yourself um, and your Instagram name and, and, and what you do, and tell them about the Puma Bros as well. All right, cool. My name is Hugo, but everybody knows me as Juice Puma, or my other page is Puma Bros. And um, I'm just a Puma collector for the past four years, and um, I got my own T-shirt, and I'm trying to get along with Puma to do a Puma Bros group. Man. So working on that. And other than that, just collecting my favorite sneakers, Puma. Yeah, huh? and, and now I remember you on uh, Fur King on Polo's show. And, um, yeah, I was. And you're from Brooklyn, yes? Born and raised? Yeah, I was born, born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. The yeah. neighborhood was called East New York. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So you would have grew up, obviously, in the like in the breaking era as well. Is that what motivated you to Puma? Definitely. When B Street came out, that's where I gravitated to Puma. Yeah. <laughs> It was like, you had to. You yeah. had to. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, it's it either one or the other. You know what I mean? It was either Adidas, the shell top, so he wore Puma. I wore Puma. Or Puma suede. Whatever I could get. You know what I mean? Whatever Definitely. I could get. Yeah, yeah. 100%, man. And is that, um, was that ever since then, have you just worn Puma when you were young? Or no, I when think. You young and your parents are buying I, I want... sneakers. It's it's whatever you got, really. But like, when when did you first start? Like, that's it. I'm 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 Puma. Not nothing else, you know. Puma Puma actually was like always a favorite sneaker from back then, you know. And um, I, I went on to other brands in the '90s and the 2000s, but that love for Puma was always there. Like, yes. and I Puma, you know. Nah. And, um, like the past four years, I've been really collecting a lot, a lot of Puma. Yeah, and yeah. And really falling up with the brand all over again. Yeah. Well, I remember when I was younger, it, it, Pumas, you know, obviously you can get Pumas and that. But then here in Melbourne, first, wait, hold on, shouts to Jersey and that. He was watching, my man Jersey's watching. But um, I remember it was very hard at one stage to get, like, old stop. Pumas, you know, for a couple of years, especially in the sports store where I lived, it was just whatever they got. You know what I mean? Exactly. Uh, the person that owned it, um, there was actually one ex AFL player, Doug Hawkins. He used to own the sports store in, in just near my house. You know, okay. when he owned it, you could get mad yeah. stuff. But then there it was, was it was thing. like it was like that. It was like that in New York too, because you really didn't find too many stores with the Puma. You know. You had your certain stores in different boroughs that sold them, but it was your basic colorways that wasn't like, you know, yeah, you would get like, lucky if you found if you found something exclusive. You you was lucky to find that because yeah. a lot of those sneakers, a lot of people would never sold them or just kept them. You know what I'm saying? The yeah, Puma yeah. was like you get your basic colors: black, burgundy, or gray. You know, or navy blue. Yeah, and yeah. Then you know, it, it was it wasn't it wasn't like it was big for the b-boy era. Yes, and you know that because you was a breaker, so it was big for the b-boy era. But then you know it, it gradually faded for a little bit. It always people always wore Puma regardless, but if it, it faded because you had those other brands that you know, yeah, Nike was and all popular. these yeah, other brands. Right. No one so it was like stuff. you know how New York starts adjusting to different brands, but Puma was always a brand that you know if you really wanted to rock something old school or just keep it fresh, you'll rock a pair of Puma, you know what I'm saying? Yes, of course, yeah, yeah. Wait, what's this? Lizzie, the, we worked at Puma early 2000s, look, y'all. Uh, oh, that's cool. We'll, we'll talk about that, too. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to work with Puma, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I'm trying to get that. Yeah, there was a mad store here. In Footscray, there was a store called Paris John's, and they, 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 they kept old stock as well. Like, you know, that was like a haven. Yeah. For sneakers and stuff like in the western yeah, we had a old, I mean. we had like we had an old store called liu it was in um like the borderline of brooklyn and queens it was yeah. owned by some korean people and he always kept like the up-to-date pumas and your converse and your vans and your shelf tops and stuff like that so you know that was like probably one store i knew about that was really big on in brooklyn with pumas and you had your stores in harlem that always yeah. had them and if you yeah. go to the Bronx, you know you'll find a store in the Bronx. Anywhere in the Bronx have Pumas. I was just going to ask you about that, the Bronx. Now, I've watched so many documentaries, and everyone talks about the Jew Man store. Did you ever oh go to see the Jew Man? That's, 
I, I never did because nah. I grew up in, in, in Brooklyn and where I grew up was like, we barely left the borough, you know what I'm saying? We stood always low. Just so yeah, in the bar. Yeah. We had we had like our we had like our little sections where you go to shop at. You have one close to Queens, then you have one in another part of Brooklyn. Then you will go, you know, getting close to the city. You had another strip place where they had all the stores at. So we really didn't really travel to the to the city or to you the Bronx to, or huh? Queens. Once I started getting older, like in my teenage, then oh yeah, we went all over the place. But yeah. I never really got to go to that store, but because. That's a that that place is history. Yeah, yeah. My man, shout to my man Ben Harris. History. He actually is the manager of Puma uh, right oh, now. Oh, cool. What's up? What's Thanks for um, being on. Yeah, yeah. So you, you, yeah, yeah. This is Juice Puma, Benny, man, and uh, he's got uh, you got the Puma Bros as well. Instagram too, man. Why don't we start yeah, do. with uh, one of your favorite Pumas that you own? Uh, want to go back to the old school? Yes, let's do it. I love old school. I'm 40 years old. I'm gonna be 41 next month or this month. I'm gonna be 40. I'm gonna be 45 in two weeks. May 23rd Man. is my birthday. Let's go with the um, yo MTVs. Ooh, with the Ed and Dre. Sick. That stop. I probably wore these probably twice for just taking pictures. Yeah. <laughs> You gotta wear them, man. You got you gotta put them on. You know what I mean? At least they're dirty. They, yeah, they're a little dirty. Yeah. yeah. But you know, <laughs> there's there's certain ones that you gotta keep. You know, fresh. Fresh. Yeah. 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 They're amazing. I, I, I only like to rock. I only like to rock certain sneakers like this on occasion. You know what I'm saying? Pull yeah. them out and everybody be like, "Oh wow, he got some Pumas on." Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, I can pull out. I can pull out some some um. This is. The B boy ever style. Yeah, hold up, sorry. Yeah. We can do the B boy era. Mad. I love the purple, man. Purple. These are from 2013. Are they suede? They're suede, yeah. I just picked these up. Oh, yeah, cool. How much did you get uh, paid for those ones? These came out to 40 bucks on eBay. Beautiful. Um, nice. I got some other. I got some nice classics here. I'll pick these up too. These Puma Sways. Oh, they're crazy. Are they just a new pickup as well? These I just got these probably a couple days ago on eBay. Twenty five dollars. Amazing. Twenty five bucks. Desktop. Desktop. That's the good thing about Puma and stuff. Um, you can pick up shoes like that quite cheap, you know what I mean? Yeah, see, they're crazy. You showed those to Polo, the Fur King, true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I found these for $10. <laughs> $10. I'll pull up next to you with a pair of Jordans. I'm killing you with a pair of Jordans right now. Oh, yeah. Jordans ain't got, not take those Jordans ain't got nothing on this. I'll take those over Jordans 100%, man. Jordan got nothing on this. Nah. This is rare. <laughs> Not at all. Desktop too. Yeah, awesome. Uh, yeah, I keep a lot of my sneakers fresh. I don't know why. I'm just. Yeah, well, that's the way. I man. Keep, that's the way. I like to keep a fresh pair every day. Yeah. Got to keep a fresh pair every day. Uh, I don't know, but you want to go with something new? Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. I, I've I've noticed you wear new Pumas as well. You know what I mean? I like some of the new Pumas, man. Uh, let's go with the, with the Sky Lux. I like these kicks. They're nice. They bring back some history with me. Oh, yeah, they're sick. Sky Lux. Yeah, they're, man. How much, did you get them from, from the store? From Puma. From Puma, Puma. yeah. I How support my brand. I love it. I love I love my brand and I support my brand too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's seventy awesome. seventy percent of seventy percent of my collection is from the brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other the other thirty is from eBay or Amazon. Yeah. But I support my brand. Yeah, that's awesome. You know, it's awesome it's to support your brand when you're a sneakerhead. 
Yeah, you know that's right. If you love something, that's right. Because not many so people. Um, that's why when I seen you on uh, uh, the Fur King show, I'm like, man, that's sick. Like you don't see many people. It's just like that's it. It's Puma. You know, it's usually. I'm Jordan dedicated. Or... I'm dedicated. I'm dedicated, yeah, yeah. and I go hard. I go hard for Puma and for my Puma girls. Like yeah. I really do. I have a. I have a passion that sometimes a lot of people don't understand my passion, but I go hard for my passion. You know what I'm saying? The best. Especially when you love something, go hard on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Give your yeah, best. Exactly. You're not gonna have everybody to like you. Not everybody's gonna see your opinions or your view. But when you go hard for somebody or you go hard for your brand, you can't deny that. No, that's right. And then you know what? At the end of the day, who cares if no one likes it? You know what I mean? It's it's you're not wearing a. They're not paying your rent. You know what I mean? At the end, like my partner would say. When you start paying my rent, yeah. then I'll care about your opinion. You know what I mean? It's, it's like no, nah, it's you know, you know, <laughs> it, opinions do matter. I I do take into people's opinion because, you know, there's a community. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. With the with my Puma Bros, and there's another community as we are Puma, and then you got Puma Market. You know, those are different Puma. You know. Communities and different, oh, yeah, 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 different yeah. parts of the world. Count, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, other people, the haters, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, fuck, what oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. you do my thing, do your thing, you know? But you know what? To me, haters motivate me more. Yes. It exactly. gives me more motivation to do more and yeah. go harder for what I love to do. Yeah, man. That's awesome, man. It just feeds me, you know what I'm saying? So I got, like I, got a pair, I got a pair here. There's only two of these in the world. Meek Mill yeah. got one pair, and I got the other pair. They're crazy. What are they called? These are these are the reforms. Meek Mill reform. Wow. There's only two in the world. How did you How did you get those? Just from a relationship with Puma, or I, oh, I entered a I entered a con <laughs> I entered a contest. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah, awesome. And Python leather. Wow. In the font, in the font stripe is Sobosky crystals. That's crazy. There's only two of these in the world, and so I'm wearing them Meek today. Have the, and Meek Mill obviously has the other one. Yep, I wear my sneakers. I'm wearing them today. That's the best. I got my New York stand socks. Oh, yeah, you gotta represent. <laughs> gotta represent. Uh, I got some other ones. I got some. <laughs> Let's go. Let's let's give it for the Lakers. Rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. Yeah, they're crazy. No mas. There's only forty-eight pairs of these. This is number thirty-eight. Oh, awesome. Oh man, I like the inside of the tongue. What does it say on? What does it say on that? Lottery. The lottery for no mas. Thirty-eight of forty-eight. That's crazy. I don't even want to wear these. Nah. <laughs> it's just but I rock the them. House, you know what I mean? Look at the bottom. It says no mask. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, so I love my brand, man. I love my sneakers. Are you, are you a fan of Puma Baskets? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm a fan, I'm a fan of all Puma sneakers. Yeah, one of my friends, I'll show but, you, I've got, got a pair. Oh, actually, I, I'm going to show you a pair my partner got for me. I think, I don't know if it was for my birthday or for Christmas, I don't know. Have you ever seen these ones? I just love the pattern, man. Um, This is when they started putting that uh, soft foam on their Pumas, and, and uh, she, she she got me these. Have you seen these? Ooh! Canvas, right? Yeah. Puma canvas. Yeah, and it's got the gum saw, and you can't go wrong with the gum saw. Oh my God! They're uh, they're all right, ah, huh? they're they're nice. I, I like it because it looks. They, it reminds me of like a pair of they jeans. They dope. They oh, dope, thanks, man. Especially they got that bluish jean look to it. Yeah, that's what I like about it. It's uh, yeah. I ended up buying these. Uh, I def. I definitely rock those. Ah, oh, awesome! Yeah, I was wondering if you, oh, had, if you had seen these. They dope. They called. Hold on. They're called S Street Volk Herring Bun. They dope. Yeah, Pete. I never seen those. I never seen those before. Uh, nah. No. Nope. And then I'm what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing these. These are baskets, but these are like the the 
I you like those. Like a cheaper basket. I got these for forty dollars with no box, but you know, and it on the tongue it looks like um. Can you see it's supposed to replica like ostrich? Yeah. I mean, obviously, it's oh, not real are, ostrich, those but those yeah. are fire too. And, and the yeah, thanks. I love I love the gum saw. That's the, the gum bottoms are dope. That's a classic in New York. Gum bottoms. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I, I know the the mayor's a big fan of of gum bottoms on on shoes. You yep. know, a lot of a lot of a lot of sneakers are made with gum bottoms. And then I got these ones. My friend Jake seen these on special from two hundred for fifty, and I, I paid him back. These are like the most the more expensive baskets with the gold leaf. You know, them ones. Fresh but white. Soft. The leather on these is insane, man. The, le the leather's insane. Yeah, and the inside. I is love, insane. I love baskets. I love anything Puma, man. That's dope. Yeah. The gold oh, inside. Is sick, man. Even the Clyde. Oh yeah. Are, are it's the same. It's you know, the same. Man. It's the same silhouette as the suede. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty just, much. It's just. It's it's just a little bit more rounder on the on the toe on the toe on the front. Yeah. But I'm a you swing and I'm a swing and Clyde lover. I love Clyde's too. Yeah. Do you? Yeah, well, what else? Um, of the new style Pumas, do you have that you that you fell in love with? Um, I fell in love with the the Clyde. I fell in love with the Clyde courts. The Clyde courts when they first yeah. came out. I got the. Old, I think I got like. Majority of all of them that drop, I think I missed only two because yeah. I didn't really like the colorway. But I got yeah, yeah, mostly yeah. all the five colors that came out. Um, my Shouts favorite to one was the Queens. My, Shouts to musket. The Brooklyn Queens wifey, I love you, babe. That's my wife. Oh, is that? Oh, I'll give her a follow. Yeah. Hello, nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's at work right now. Um, uh, she, yeah. The death, the death, the death jams of the Clyde Court. I think that was one of my favorites. Because I've you know the history those. behind the history, but the you know, machine like the brand. Uh Death Jam, Death Jam, who's my Death Jam? Right. Oh, here they go. Oh all my Clyde courts came from Puma. They're insane. Look at the back. Yeah, that's crazy. Were they and retailed the in stores? They're sick, man. They came out on buy, Puma. That was from a shop, I, or did you have to go online? I bought them online, Puma.com. They sold out fast. Yeah. How much were they? They sold out so quick. This one and the POEs is my favorite. You know what's the POE? No, I don't know. I've never seen them. How much? 120. Oh, man. Nice. Awesome. The POEs are for Trayvon Martin. Yeah. Trayvon Martin, they did a secret for Trayvon Martin. So all the benefits went to him. Then um, I got a few I got a few nice... Uh, ooh, let me show you a colorful one. I'm very yeah, colorful awesome. with yeah, it keep, too. keep them coming, man. Keep them coming. I, I'm very colorful with it. Let me just wash my puma. I don't want to break my cat. I can't yeah. break my cat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can't break my cat. Um, hold on. I got a little. I got my little stack of t-shirts here. I'm, oh, I also got Puma Bros t-shirts in black and white. Oh, show, from, show everyone, man. From small to extra large. All right, no worries, man. Check him out on Puma Bros or uh, Juice Puma for the shirts. And you got Thank the you. B Boys on the back, don't you? Yeah, they got the B Boy logo on the back. These are the white shirts. Yeah. It says Puma Bros on the front. Then we got a little tab on the on the on the bottom that says from Germany to New York. Awesome. It says it says Puma Bros Limited Edition. And That's, the back we got yeah. the B boy. That's amazing. Puma Bros. That's this what made it, man. The B boy era. Look at that hat. You got the same hat on, bro. I got the hat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See that? Yeah. That's where they all started from. The B boy exactly. era. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. So I got these in black and white. In I'm selling them white. for thirty dollars a. Thirty dollars a shirt. 
$30 a shirt. There you go, people. You know what I'm saying? Shouts to Casey, yep. Leon, everyone else that's joined in. So this is, uh, these are Puma Clyde Court. I think these are my summertime. These summer came time. out in the summer. I took these with me to Miami. I had everybody stop me with, in Miami with these. Really? Yeah. Everybody. <laughs> every, everybody in Miami was like, where'd you get those spoons at? Oh. Insane. In, yeah, they're bananas, man. They're insane. So he's actually, Clyde, they just done a lifetime deal with him, didn't they? Clyde, Clyde had a Clyde was the first athlete in the world to get a sneaker endorsement. Yes, yeah. Before Jordan, before everybody yeah, before, else. Yeah, that's right. He was the first athlete in the world to get a, a signed deal with Puma. And they went through a few silhouettes. He fell in love with the you know, they made they made the sway in the basket. He didn't really like it, it was kinda of narrow. Yeah, so they invented yeah. the Clyde. And he switched it up. I, I heard he said and the then, basket was too heavy for him or something like that. Exactly. Like in the it was a little flat. It is, it, is, it is a pretty heavy silhouette, the suede yeah. in, the, in the basket. But it's, it's, it's comfortable to me. Yeah. If you're not, mate, so if, he, if you're breaking in them or something, it's a different story. But he's running up a court like this all day. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah, I get it. Yeah. So, They're um, insane, then, man. Whew, this was a it's showstopper great. in Miami. I think it's great that they have signed him for a lifetime deal and that they're making shoes still named after him because he is the one, you know what I mean? Especially for basketball, he, is, like he, he was the one. Like, they were made for him, like you said. They were made for him. Like in tennis, when Stan Smith got his shoe, you know what I mean? They were I like, I, for him. You know what I love? Was, you know, and Exactly. You know what I love about Puma? They went. With two, with two styles, right? They went with the suede and they went with the Clyde, right? Yes. The suede, the suede stood gritty for the streets, for the b boys, for the thugs. Yeah, and yeah. Clyde made, and Clyde made it for the pretty boys. You want to rock a nice suit? Yeah. With the, you know, with the, with the, with the blue camouflage cow suit. Yeah. And the yeah. Clyde. Oh man. He made it pretty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He made a swag. That's why he say he's the swag king. He is, yeah. The cow suits are amazing. That for anyone who hasn't seen that type in Clyde cow suit, that's that's, that's like um. Oh my God, he's legendary. How was the b boy era? But did you break yourself? Uh, yeah, I definitely broke. I was yeah, born in '75, awesome. so you know. And uh, what was your cruise early name? Early '80s. Oh, uh, we had a whole bunch of names. This was one of my names right here, the Seven One Eight Boys. Boy, awesome. So this this meant brother over years. Gross. So um yeah we broke we did we did a lot of break dancing. I used to write graffiti on the trains. Uh, are you left handed? I did it all. I did it all. I did it all. Yeah, I used to write reps. R E P S. Awesome. Gross. Yeah yeah. Are you? I just um, noticed that. Are you left handed? No, I'm righty. Oh, it's just on where I'm looking. It looks like you're left handed. Yeah, like it's opposite. Are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we can go with. I fell in love with the Blaze of Glory silhouette. Oh, you know, yeah. you know the Blaze of Glory. Yeah, have you got a couple of those? How much pumas in total do you have? About 140. Nice, and that's it. Nothing else. No other. I don't wear nothing but puma. Nothing. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. That's weird. everything that's puma. Look, but... everything puma. Puma. Yeah. Puma. Everything puma. Uh, let's, let's go with a. Ooh, these I just got not too long ago. These were kind of nice. I ain't rock these yet either. I got so many sneakers, I don't know what to wear every day. Yeah, it's a bit hard, isn't it? Sometimes. <laughs> Ooh. Ronnie Fee, Ronnie Fee Colette. Well, you call them Colette, whatever you call it. Yeah, they're amazing. I got these on eBay. Have you seen the ones oh. that shape and it looks like they, they've got that weird fur and it looks like the fish scales on them, like they're silver and stuff. My man, Marine's got a pair. They they sold in Japan. It was like a Japanese and it looks like them. Yeah. 
They're the ones. He paid 50 bucks for them. I paid, I think I paid $100. Yeah. Brand that's new. That's crazy. Like, wow. Because he got them, like, not when they were, like, he just I'm gonna tell them you, by this, accident. This right now, this silhouette is my favorite sneaker right now. It's so comfortable. Yeah. And it's so pretty. It's unbelievable, that shoe, man. That shoe's like with the, the, the shoelaces top it off. You know what I mean? Like, that's like, and that's, and that's, that's like a, from a Japanese release, isn't it? Yeah. This is a limited. This is a limited sneaker. Yeah. Very limited sneaker. It's rare. You, it's yeah. hard to find sneakers like this. I've, I've got lucky with the, the Puma community, the community, sorry. They've been blessing me too with a lot of sneakers. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of brothers from all over the world that Man. send me sneakers or send me pictures and tell me, look, these sneakers are up for sale. Grab them. So I've been blessed. You know what I'm saying? I also show love to the community too. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's the thing, especially with sneakers. Like, you either get really good people or you get people that are dickheads. You know what I mean? And, and facts. They're just, they're just worried about, like, um, Trying to benefit for themselves. The price symbol or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Where, where other people like us and like you know, Carly Vegas and people like that, you know, Franklin and and Furking and stuff, we're worried. It's just it's the passion, you know what I mean? It's the passion. Exactly. Yeah. 100%. Can't deny passion, man. You cannot, you cannot deny passion. Passion is it will keep you going. Do you have the other ones? Uh, I, I remember you showed another pair, I think, of MTV ones. Yo, Raps. Oh, you want to go back to Big Daddy Kane? Oh, Big Daddy Kane's, yep. Yeah, pull them out. Oh, yeah. They're amazing. Big Daddy Kane. You got the links in the back. Yeah. <laughs> remember that? What, one of the all-time, I, I, I think, great MCs, you know what I mean? Daddy came, man. Especially with the style, with the chains, and it was like, it was one of the best, cool, man. Yeah. And Poochie Rap. Yeah, he was unbelievable. Yeah, I think that was the best era in hip-hop. Oh, it was, it was definitely... It was it the was, best. It, it would was, never yeah. be the same ever again. Who's um, your favorite you of all time? I picked these up for $50 for my Puma bro. Shout out to my Puma bro, Crazy Chris. For fifty dollars, he got me these, right? He put matter of fact, he caught me these. That's how cool my brother is. He bought me these, and I didn't even that, know these these sneakers so are rare, bro. That's the other guy in the picture, the from Puma Bros. That's Crazy Chris. Yeah. All right, send me a send me a message, Crazy Chris. We'll we'll, we'll hook up. I'll, I'll follow. I'll, I'll find him on your page, actually. Wow, what a lady! They're crazy. <laughs> these are these shits is crazy. Then these are Puma. Cl these are Puma Clyde snake embroidery. So that's embroidered on there, the snake. Yep, this is embroidered on here. Wow. The whole snake is embroidered, and then the front is like snake skin. That's crazy, man. And I also wear a lot of Puma, like vintage clothes. I love vintage clothes. Oh, yeah, I love that. Best. I love that hat you got on, bro. That shit is fly. Thank you, man. When I was young, I love that hat. I used to have the like Puma tracksuits. My favorite one was, uh, <laughs> I had one that said Puma all the way down the arm, like in the stripe, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, let me show you some. Let me, let's take it back to, uh, you heard of Franklin Marshall? Franklin Marshall? There were a group of kids from college went out to like um, these different colleges and they started their own clothing line with like just basic t-shirts, sweaters and stuff back in the days. Mm -hmm. and they, they did a collaboration with Puma. Ah, oh, cool. Franklin Marshalls. Mad. They look Very, tough, but these, that's a strong shoe. I got, I got these from my brother from Australia. Oh, really? Yeah. I think his, uh, his Instagram is Puma Couple. Puma Couple? Yeah, that's his, that's, that's his Instagram. All right, I'll try and find him. Or oh, screenshot, if you can, after this screenshot and message it to me and I'll... Uh, I'll nah, I'm going to link you up with, I'm gonna link you up with all the bros. I got you. All right, for sure. Yeah, nice. Um, let me show you some vintage, um, some clothing that I just got. 
uh, I got some stuff. Um, I got a brother in California that he goes shopping in these boutiques and like thrift stores. And every time he finds anything in Puma, he sends it to me. Awesome. So I got like a lot of vintage clothes. I love vintage clothes. So I picked up like a, to go with those Def Jams, the Clydes. Yeah. I picked up this, I picked up this burgundy vintage Puma sweater. Sick. For 20 bucks. <laughs> Brand what a new. Steal. This was made in, this is pretty old because the tag is yellow. Yeah. <laughs> 2002. Oh, there you go. 20 bucks. It's a, it's a, they'll go perfect with those sneakers. Yeah. And um, I picked up something that came from oh, Brazil. Yeah, and the back is this. Oh. That's heavy, man. I'm a, I, love, I love vintage Puma. Yeah, it's yeah. the best. It's the best, man. Uh, I got some. You want to see some more sneakers? Yeah. I got some. I'm gonna take it back to. Oh, this. This is a, this is my grail. I'm gonna show you my grail. My holy grail right here. That's tough. The Puma staple pigeon. Oh, the pigeon. Did they do the pumas too? I didn't know the pigeons do the pumas, man. That's crazy. I bought these brand new. That's I had to. Look brand new. <laughs> They're unbelievable, man. How much did they go for? How much did you have to fork out for them ones? These came out to one twenty-five. Crazy. They worth about three fifty. Yeah. They're probably. They worth about. That's probably the best pigeon I've seen. That one, the, just the shape with the color. The colors look really nice. The colors is insane. Yeah. It looks just like it looks just like the pigeon colors. Yeah. Um, exactly. I got. He got. He got. Yo, Staple has one of the dopest collaborations. I'm gonna show you another one. This is the Puma suede. This was the 50th anniversary Puma suede. Yeah. See how the side looks like? It looks like the pigeon skin. The yeah. neck, it like turns purple. That's crazy. In the back, the side got the, over here by the laces is the pigeon fur. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. He he got a dope collaboration with this. That's crazy. One of my favorite, one of my fifth, one of my favorite of the fifties. Yeah, yeah, that's tough. That's tough. Uh, man. I got another pair. This this collaboration just dropped the sneak up yes yesterday or the day before, and it sold out in less than I think half an hour. Everything was gone. You heard of the hundreds? The hundreds. You heard of them? Nah, I don't think so. They they are Asian. I think they're Asian. I'm not sure. Company. They did a collaboration with Puma. Oh. Then look, each uh -huh. sneaker is a is a different colorway. That's crazy. Look, they're amazing. Yep, different colorway in each sneaker. These came out to like a buck twenty. That's that's pretty good price, man. That's grails from Puma. If you, if you I told you. a shoe with Puma, what 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 would you which one would it be, and what 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 colorways and and materials? Oh. Um, I would go with uh, I would go with a suede. I would do, I would do the New York colors. Yeah. But I was I would, I would, I would mix it up and, and and make it crazy. I already got the idea and I already drew it out. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And I'm I'm definitely gonna do a blaze of glory. Yeah, grouse. I gotta do a blaze of glory. This silhouette is fly. Yeah, it's a tough, tough shoe. I like. I like. I, I love. 
Uh, I love this right here with the laces yeah. like that. Yeah, so those are two sneakers that I want to do with Puma if they allow me. Yeah. Now, do, 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 but, you, uh, do, you have a, do you have a relationship with Puma? Do they recognize what you're me? doing, you and your, your Puma? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, they, they show me a lot of love, and I appreciate oh, that's awesome. it. Because, that's really because good. Because they, they put me on. I'm, on. I'm on Puma Hoops page. Um, Puma commented, like, a couple of weeks ago on a couple of my pictures. They want to use my pictures on uh, their social platforms and their stores. And all this, you know, everything at social media. So, but you know, I'm not getting getting not for not from it, but just the recognition and them exactly. showing me love. That's yeah. all that matters to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's how um when I uh when Franklin, when King of Trainer asked me, he goes, oh, he goes, I told the less about you, and they want you to be on your their podcast. I was like, that was the best. Yeah, you know the best. That's how when you told me I want, you know, I want you to be on mine, I was like, wow, that's a blessing. You know, I appreciate 100%. you. Man. I love Thank you, Puma. That's why when I seen you on, on Birkins, I was like, wow, that's, I was like, for sure, I have to have mine. You know what I mean? It's like, there's no, no doubt. One, Thank I've you, never brother. seen anyone just uh, that specializes in, in Puma, though. You know what I mean? There's like all the Adidas and, you know, and uh, and stuff, but, but no one Puma. I've never seen anyone Puma, you know? Oh, hold on. Yeah, I do it all, all Puma. There's some NBA plans. Um, we got, I'm gonna show you another. Wow. I'm gonna NBA show you a sample. That's right. Yeah, COVID fucked up everything, man. Just true here, man. These are the Puma Sanras. They're crazy. The, the, look at the bottom. Oh. This is see the front. It says Sanra. Yeah. And the side. I got these from a brother from Tennessee, but he ordered them from, I think they came from Australia or Germany. Oh, I'm really? Not sure. Yeah. Oh, I asked my man, I asked my man Harris right now. Is he, he just said there's some mad NBA plans for this year, but it's fucked up because of um, our super light Clydes and NBA Swades. He said it was supposed to be coming out this year because he's, he's the manager of Puma. It's my man, Ben Harris, man. Give him a follow. He's, he's, Super light Clyde's and NBA and was, Swade. Big, big pro skate. I can't guys, wait. You know, but uh, yeah, he's he's a manager cool, of Puma these days. You know what I'm saying? Thanks, thanks for being on, man. So yeah, these are these came from a long way, man. It took me about two months to get. It took me about two months to get these sneakers. Yeah. Just How much shipping did they cost alone. You, if you don't mind me asking. These came out to one sixty. Oh, that's that's all right. Is that and then plus shipping? Yeah, plus shipping, yeah. Yeah. The inside is incredible. Yeah. The sway on this is like butter. Man, man. Motion in the ocean when you yeah. Yeah. Woo. And then we're gonna go with the Michael Lau. The samples. Oh, crazy. These were the fifty anniversaries. Yep. See the stitching on the thing is like a sample, right. you see it? Yeah, I like the triangle. Yeah, at the top, it's old school. That's when you know. <laughs> Let me show you the other one. The other one got the, this. That what's the up? other one got? Oh yeah. The yeah. other one got this. The other one got this on it. See it? Crazy. Now, for the people who don't know who Michael Lau is, do you want? Would you like to explain to them? Uh, Michael Lau is. is Michael Lau is. I, I'm not sure. I don't like to confuse either. He's Korean or Chinese. If I'm not sure. He is a famous cartoon character. I think he makes them out of wax, if I'm not sure. Or like some really, really fucking great plastic or whatever he's using. He's amazing. Go to his page, Michael Lau, and check his art out. This guy is amazing. He, his pieces are very expensive. His toys, as a matter of fact, this sneaker was made in multicolors, it came. The first pair that was made was made in multicolors. It came in red. The form stripe one was red. The other side was green. I think the yellow, the tab on the tongue was yellow. Those sneakers were only made a hundred pairs, and nobody got them. Nah, <laughs> nobody got them. And if you find them for sale, you're gonna pay at least two grand or three grand for them. At least, uh, yeah, yeah. 
How did you so get these them? Were, did you get them from Puma.com or? These, I got these from Puma. I told you 80% of my sneakers are from Puma. This one was the general release, and he killed it with this one. Hands down, 50th anniversary, this was the sneaker of the year. Yeah, yeah. It looks tough. Sample? So that's yep, the that's sample. Huh? Crazy. Crazy. Puma, I tell you, hands down, Puma been the best sneaker since they came out. That's yeah. why you can't deny Puma. That's why you can't deny Puma. Nah. Yeah. Every year they come out with something nice. Yeah. Uh, I can show you something to take it to Brooklyn, where we from. I'll take it to my Brooklyn. Oh, my cool jeans. These are Puma Clyde Coogees. They're crazy. They got the Coogee the sweater. Yeah. <laughs> on the form stripe. They got the Coogee inside. One of my favorites, too. Look at the inside. Oh, they're amazing, man. I had these sneakers about four or five years. Did you get those from Puma.com or a resale? Puma.com. How much did Brother, they cost I, retail? I paid one ten. One ten. They must. Uh, do they go for a bit now? What? Resale. Can resale right them? now. People won't sell them, I guess. Resale right now, you find them for like a buck and a half, maybe a buck seventy-five. Oh yeah. That's not yeah. that bad. They're not, that's right. they're not too pricey. Yeah, uh, good. Let me show you the sneaker that four years ago, I fell in love with the brand again, right? Yeah. And um, I was on the train with my wife, and I seen this guy rocking a purple and white pair of Pumas. And I was like, wow, that purple and white was fucking beautiful, man. And he had the white B-boy laces on it, so it was like, yeah. I said, babe, yeah. I said, babe, yeah. I got to get, I got to get, I got to get on my fucking Puma game again, right? Yeah. So, I couldn't find the sneaker, man. Couldn't find it. I said, you know what? I'm going to take off one day of work, and I'm going to find this fucking sneaker, right? I went through four boroughs in New York to find that sneaker. <laughs> yeah. Right? I found it. I tell them, let me get a size 12. And the lady that... You know, I gave her the sample, and she grabs the sneaker. She says, it's a woman's sneaker. I was so fucking mad, bro. I found the sneaker, but it was a woman's side. So the guy that was on the train had a small foot, so he actually foot fit Could in the woman's that. side yeah, sneaker. Yeah. So wifey looks at me, and she's like, what are we going to do? And I'm like, I'm going to find me a purple sneaker regardless. So... I said, you know what? Let's go to Queens. There's a Puma store in Queens. It's inside the mall. I said, I'll probably find something in there. So I said, eh. We walk in. I'm like, ah, I already got everything. I said, you know what? Let me just check that back shelf real quick. I check the back shelf. And I Beautiful. find these. They're crazy. The Bonnie and, Cl Bonnie and Clyde Puma Clydes. So I couldn't get them in purple and white, but I got them in purple and black. Yeah. Oh, it looks good like that, man. So this was the sneaker that really started it off four years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, I seen one of my old bros in my neighborhood, and he had a whole Puma tracksuit, and he had the navy blue Puma suede, and that's that was it. It. Yeah. it just it took off from there. Seeing the purple ones and seeing him in the track suit, it just took off from there. <laughs> then uh, I got I got something for Black History Month. They're crazy. These are Black History Month. This was for. The man that was at the at the Olympics. Yeah, yeah. Remember yeah. That? that he had the Puma suede on the podium with him. 
That's his hand right there. Yeah. Hold on, here we yeah. have this young dude I know from uh, Perth, young rapper. He said, what's the obsession with Puma in Australia? It's not very sought after. I'll explain to you, Jasper. The obsession with Puma is more our era, our older era, because he's young. He's a young buck, you know what I mean. So back in the days, it wasn't there was no TNs or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? It was it was either Adidas, Puma, Converse. You know what I mean? Converse. Like Nike before Jordan. Like the only reason Nike became big, big, is because of Jordan. Do you know what I mean? And the Air Max, the first Air Max. You know what I'm saying? That's why, Jess. Uh, it's 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 a b boy thing. It's a breaking thing. If you look up old b boy, sorry, and the Air Pegasus. Sorry, my partner, the the future wife. There's this. She's that's, that's her favorite shoe. Air Pegasus is is my partner's favorite shoe. This is actually my partner's jacket. I wanted to show you. One of my friends gave it to her. I thought I'd rip it out. Ooh. Yeah, you hurt my feelings with that. <laughs> then, wow! Here go, he got, <laughs> you heard his feelings with this jacket. <laughs> wow! Yeah. Hugo said, he I love showed him the jacket Rob gave me. And he I goes, love. Oh, you heard my feelings there with that one. I love red and black. This one, yeah. yeah shoes I love yeah, red Dan's and black. Shoes, she's got shoes to go with her. You know what I mean? Also, oh, yeah. So real she quick to really that to that to that comment to that kid that said that what's the big hype about Puma. Look up your look up your history on hip hop if you love hip hop, and yeah. um, see where where it all started from. Started yes, that's right. New look York. up your hip hop history. Yes. Look up New York, the Bronx. Graffiti started there. Yeah. The B boy yeah, so ever just started there. Look up there. old history and stuff like like you guys saying, and and you'll see it, it, it's yeah, especially B boy. And for you and, and, and for a lot of people. And for a lot of people who don't know, that that whole movie was sponsored by Puma. Which one? Oh, B Street. B, B Street. Yes. Yeah. Was sponsored by Puma. They were the first breakers to ever be sponsored by Puma. That's why they all had Puma on. Yeah. So it was a part of history. Yeah. Nike is a part of history, but Nike only became famous, as he said, because of Jordan. Because of Jordan, that's right. He saved the brand, really, really. Not not from extinction, but he like, that was it. He 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 made it to what it is today. Exactly. And um, exactly. you can't. Exactly. You know what? You can't. You can't deny it. It's 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 totally different now. The sneaker that's right. culture. Yeah. It, it is, yeah. But back in when we and, um, started, it was it was either Adidas or Puma. You know what I mean? It was it was that. That's it. Real, and Pro which, Kids. Pro yeah yeah Pro Kids. You had a couple of bands out there too, I think. Yeah yeah. Yeah, yes. not too many. A lot of Chuck Taylors, Converse. As well, yeah, with fat laces. Um, yeah. uh, Crazy Legs used to wear Chuck Taylors low cuts with with. with I had a pair. Laces. I had a. I think my first pair of sneakers. As I can remember, probably was a pair of Chuck Taylors. Yeah. yeah. Because, you know, they were they were the most affordable sneaker back then. So well even here, yeah, man, it's like you got what you got, you know. Um I'm, I'm gonna be I'm a I'm gonna be forty five, so Yeah. You know. I think it, my it first is. year. It, it's probably, what, it, and uh, your age I think means a lot as well with, with what you like, you know. That's why just but they didn't understand like because he you know what's and you know, and you know what's crazy? In our era, we had a lot of brands that are more famous now than they were back then. That were back then, exactly, exactly. You're like, right. Like, yeah. like uh, Diodora, Spot Bill. Diodora, yeah, exactly. Shit like that. Now Spot it comes Bill. back. Unless Sergio Tacchini, you know what I mean. Unless like all that, that's that's all. Yeah. So, so Coney, Diodora, yeah. Lottos. Remember Lottos? Lottos, yeah, I had Lottos when I was a kid, man. Fucking no. Um. I'm a little running out of time. Thank you so much for being on the show, man. And Thank please, you, brother. Uh, yeah, and please let me know all all, all, all your people and that, and I'll, I'll start following them as well, you know, and I'll hopefully get them on the show one day as well, man. But thank you so Definitely. much for joining me, man. Thank you, brother. No worries, appreciate my brother. It, man. Be safe. No, I appreciate you, you for coming on, man. Thank you so much, my all brother. All right, take care, man. All right, man. Later. All right, bro.
very first pair I bought myself, Air Force Ones. No worries, Jasper, man. Yeah, just check it out. Check out a lot of old school stuff. Hip hop in the 80s and stuff. Um, and uh, and you'll see. You'll see why everyone, everyone, especially our age, freaks out of, about, um, you know, pumas and adolescents and stuff like that. It's just, yeah, that was it. That was, that was hip hop. And um, yeah, he is a Puma King, man. True, Leon. I knew you would like this episode, my man. And uh, thank you, everyone. Sorry I fucked the times up because when I had the time chart, I have to screenshot another Judd's damn host. Going to have to check the YouTube. I logged in. No, that was my fault, man. It was my fault. I fucked up with the time. The time chart I had, I took the screenshot when it was um, Daylight Savings. Now it's different. So now, it, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a nine. But thank you, everyone. Uh, for watching and uh, until next time the next show yeah like I said I won't it, w it will be a couple of weeks uh, the next show episode will be the first first uh, female that will appear on issues which is uh, uh, Lizzie Oon uh, who works for um, uh, Sergio Takini and we're going to find out what it takes to, to remake a shoe uh, and a whole line such as the new young line thank you very much it's more than no knowledge, man. Thank you. You take care too, Jasper, man. See you later, everyone.